welcome back. So we are now going to continue with the discussion in research writing. Specifically, we are going to discuss scope and the limitation for today. So in this part of your research, uh, you will have to discuss what is included in your research and what is excluded in your study. So it's as uh, simple as that in terms of concept and idea, uh, they, these are what is supposed to be included in that part of your study. So in detail, we are going to discuss further. So let's start. Scope and the limitation of the study includes the following. So let's start with the scope. In terms of mechanics and layout, the part of this research may be written in a minimum of two paragraphs so as little as two paragraphs one paragraph assigned for each part one paragraph for the scope and one paragraph for the limitation is more than enough to cover uh, the inclusion and exclusion uh, of your studies so the first one is the scope of the study so what should be written in your scope so this may include the impact of your study so who affects your study who is affected by your study uh, and how will this affect those uh, person involved in your study so uh, you may start with a brief discussion about your study and then its impact and then its uh, 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 benefits but do not uh, discuss this uh, extensively because you will be having another part of your research wherein you will be able to discuss this in a more extensive way so that would serve as your introductory statement for the scope of your study and then under the scope you may also discuss the evaluation of your population the population is the general or total number of your respondents so um, these are not the actual respondents of your study yet because you have not chosen uh, specifically the students that you're going to use for your study so in the part of the scope of your study describe the the general population of your study so if you are using a class uh, that has or a school that has a class of 50 five zero sections which is way too many for a thesis or a research because here in our country that would uh, be tantamount to 40 students or 50 students per class and then you have 50 classes that would be 2,500 respondents so you are not going to use all of them but instead you are going to describe who are these uh, uh, respondents in terms of population in your study so later on, you're going to narrow that down specifically who will be your respondents and how you chose the, uh, the respondents of your study. Another element or discussion included in your scope or the scope of the study would be your research timeline. So this discusses the time when you started your research and the time when you plan to or expect to end your research. But definitely you should be able to um, specifically and discreetly discuss the uh, schedule and scheduled date of your uh, implementation distribution and the uh, tabulation and analysis of your data so all of this will have to fit into your uh, discussion on the timeline of your research under the scope of your research okay now we go to the delimitation of your study so the delimitation narrows the scope 
of the research. So if you remember, uh, earlier we discussed that part of your scope should be the discussion of why you chose the population of your study. Now, in the delimitation of your study, uh, you will have to narrow that down by uh, explaining why you chose specific respondents in your research. So, you can also include the uh, sampling method that you use in order to choose uh, the respondents of your study because uh, if you are going to segregate the respondents of your study you would have to discuss how you segregated them how you chose them and then second how were you able to come up with the um, number of respondents that you took from the population of your study so that's a uh, another discussion that you will have to include in the delimitation of your study. So another factor is the instrument and methodology that you used in your research. So in the delimitation of your study, you will have to present the instrument that you use and then the method that you implemented in your research. And then you will have to justify why you chose this and not other methods and why you uh, implemented the instruction or the instrument and not other instruments okay so another is um, the delimitations of your study may also include the time limit or the time element uh, in your study so, in the scope, you were able to present the whole timeline. Here, you can uh, discuss uh, time limitations. So, you were not able to implement this for the four quarter grading periods because of the following. Okay, so you were only able to implement this on the second quarter because the scope of your lesson if this is a teaching technique where only good the topic was only good for that particular quarter so you can present that in the delimitation of your study and another element is financial resources so because of this uh, this restriction you were a only able to implement this in this particular school out of uh, three, you were only able to get one. Uh, so you have to uh, put this rationalization under your the limitation of your study. And then this also includes the discussion of your inclusion. So you were able to get one school and then you have to explain why did you excluded the other schools aside from financial restrictions maybe the other schools did not implement this particular strategy that's why you only choose this school because this is the school that piloted this strategy and so on and so forth so basically this these are the contents of the scope and the limitations of your study okay so this concludes another discussion on the series of research writing and I hope you were able to learn something something on how to write the scope and delimitation of your study so again thank you and please don't forget to click subscribe and then click the notification button and if you have questions regarding our discussion regarding research writing not specifically scope and delimitation you can write down and write it down and place it on the comment box below this video so again thank you for following and we will be having more research writing discussions in the future and i hope to see you there soon bye